Well, I have been a councillor for a considerable period of time. Um, I've enjoyed being a councillor in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, and I think I've got a, quite a lot to offer, certainly for another term anyway. Um, I first got involved in local politics in the middle 60s, um, which seems an awfully long time ago in a different world. But um, I do believe that Stoke-on-Trent has improved over the years and is continuing to do so, and I enjoy being part of the progress that the city's making. When I first stood for election in Western Coyne, uh, obviously I was canvassing the area and speaking to people, and one of the biggest um, things that came forward was the fact that the visitor centre on Park or Country Park uh, was scheduled not to be um, rebuilt. It had been destroyed in an arson attack. The uh, present council had decided that they weren't going to uh, rebuild it. Um, and uh, this had caused a lot of annoyance to local people. And uh, I promised to see what I could do to uh, get this reversed. And uh, we are in a position now where we're ready to go with a new build. Um, which hopefully will start either later on this year or the early part of next. So uh, that's an achievement. Um, the other things I think that I've seen over the three and a half year to four year period that I've been a councillor, uh, we have a small ward budget, it's not a great deal, but I've used that to enhance the area with the uh, planters. We've got Christmas lights now for the fourth year running at, at uh, the crossroads at uh, Park Hall. Uh, Western Road. Um, that seems to at least bring a bit of Christmas cheer to the area. Uh, I've tried to ensure that um, there's a community interest in the ward from the residents' associations. We've organised litter picks around the lake at uh, Park Hall. Um, and I suppose possibly one of the biggest uh, upsets of the area was when the proposal came forward for the building on um, the public open space at the back of Princess Drive and uh, after a lot of campaigning we managed to get that halted and that remains public open space for the benefit of the residents of that part of Western Coyne and Mia. I want to see the progress that we've built on continue. Um, there's a lot of things that are needed, certainly in, in Western Coyne the, the through traffic is a major problem. I mean Western Road at peak periods is chocker with traffic and I would like to see if we can get some improvements to the junction with Park Hall Road, Caverswell Road. I also want to see the uh, the links to the A50 off Western Coyne Road improved. Um, I think at the moment we've actually got that in the capital programme for works to start on that hopefully next year. But we want to see the reversal of the um, traffic flow so it gives better access for residents wanting to get onto the A50 at Normacott. And that's something that I do want to see progressed. I think we've seen the, um, the visitor centre is going to be rebuilt. Um, we've had uh, major resurfacing schemes throughout the ward. Some of the roads are in a pretty poor condition. Um, we've had planters planted throughout the, the ward on the main entrances to some of the housing areas. Christmas lights to brighten up the atmosphere in December. Um, and a general atmosphere of working with residents through the residents' associations to find out how they want to see their own area improved. There's no doubt about it, Western Coyne and Park Hall um, area of Stoke-on-Trent is a very nice area to live in. Um, and it, it just seems to, I don't know, I think the word you would say is, has an atmosphere about it where people are content with their lives. What I would like to see is to that continue to improve through the small things that the council can do. I mean, a lot of the things the people themselves do, but certainly to help with road improvements. And that's part of the problem we've got in Western Coyne is the tremendous through traffic. And we need to do something about that. Well, I think when you see that you're able to achieve something and possibly the uh, amount of concern that residents had over the possible loss of the public open space at um, at Rookwood Drive, Princess Drive, which was proposed to be built on the housing. And it really did cause a big stir in the area. And to have achieved that building work being stopped, I think if you said to me, well, that was one of the most important things that I've managed to achieve during my year as, as the councillor here. Um, and it did make me proud because it was the joint effort of both myself as a councillor, the residents' associations, and the people who wrote in and we achieved it and that's communal working together so yes I'm very happy about that.